All right, <clears throat> I got some of this open offs heavy duty LP leather preservative. And I got a pair of Justins <laughs> that have never once ever had anything put on them except for from the factory, which I know is a shame. Uh, something I've learned about uh, working on boots is you want to give them one of these first. <laughs> Here we go. I don't wear these boots very much. They are old. This one's a little stiffer. I don't know if you go stiff first, but just in case there's anything stuck on there, you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this boot. Well, well, we'll brush it off. And I, I should be embarrassed that I don't take care of my boots, but you know, testament to Justin's they're they're pretty good boots these are actually my second pair my first pair I wore to uh put foundations in and I tore the heel off and I actually wrote just a letter and I said well these are supposed to be work boots and I wore them to boot to work in and the heel fell off you know what they did they sent me a brand new pair of boots so Justin does not play games when it comes to their boots now this stuff I learned about this on a YouTube channel called Wrangle Star if you've never seen that guy's channel, he, I would say he knows what he's talking about when it comes to things in life. Uh, unfortunately, he tends to buy the expensive stuff, and that's what this is, is the expensive stuff. But I figured, you know, when it comes to expensive stuff in life, the, 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 the inexpensive expensive stuff is more attainable than the expensive expensive stuff. Now, that makes sense. Like, this stuff runs about 25 bucks a container. As opposed to like regular uh, leather preservative you can get for less than 25 bucks. But you know, yeah, whatever. I don't even know if that makes sense what I just said there. I can't afford a Ferrari, so I'm not going to get a Ferrari, right? That's an expensive car. I can afford $25 boot polish to get the expensive stuff. Now, the way I understand it is this stuff was developed by the forest. Uh, fire forest service I don't know. somehow it has to do with fighting forest fires and it's supposed to be extra good for like uh durability uh adherence i guess it's it stays on the boot apparently when it gets warm it it works its way further into the boot which are all things that you want I can't believe how uh, how poorly I've taken care of these boots, to be honest with you. I never really thought about them. They're just like boots, you know. I was like, oh, I need boots. Put the boots on. Grab the boots. The boots are always there. Now I know, like, Anvil Rose or Rose Anvil, he does these silent. He doesn't talk. And I thought about doing a full silent boot uh, <laughs> leather restoration uh, video, but, like, Unfortunately, that's not how my channel is, and I guess if listening to me bothers you, you can go ahead and mute. Now, I've heard that you can get uh, discoloration to your leather with this product. Uh, I don't really care since these are just boots, and I'm not worried about really what they look like. Usually, when I wear these boots, it's when I'm dealing with stuff that would fill my shoes. You know what I mean? Like deep dirt you don't want dirt going inside of your shoes, I wear these boots. And I know some people wear these kind of boots like other daily drivers, you know, every day. But not me. I don't wear Wellingtons every single day. I am a little embarrassed about the condition of these, to be honest with you. But it's just like, I don't know, I just don't think about it too much. I'm kind of relying on the quality of the boot to take care of the boot, right? And I'm sure this people are probably screeching. Ah, I can't believe it. You've never treated your boot. You're supposed to treat your boot every 28 days or two weeks or I, I have no idea what people do. I'm sure the internet will let me know. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. You know, that's the first, they're doing it wrong. I'm probably doing this wrong too. I'm probably supposed to use my finger, like let the my body heat melt the waxes whatever <laughs> I just <laughs> uh, it's good times 
Some of these old creases there are pretty solid. Let's get it in there. Come on, elf shells. Don't be weak. Be strong. Okay. I'm not going to lie, my arms get a little tired. Maybe I am weak. Comment below if you think I'm weak. You're weak. Your boot care is weak. Oh my, I don't even know if I'm doing it on, on camera here. I'm just like, just grinding away. Ooh, some of these creases. Deep. Ooh, they're looking good already. I know this is riveting. Must see TV. Right, let's see the difference. How do we do? Well, we missed a spot right there. I can see that for just from looking at the camera. Room for improvement on the application of what is it called again? Open offs. Oh. Open off. What does it say? Heavy duty LP preserves and protects leather. It takes a beating on a daily basis. Regular use of open off's heavy duty LP repels water, restores, protects, preserves, and conditions your leather while allowing leather to breathe. Extend your investment in the life of your leather. Apply by hand at room temperature to a clean, dry, sorry, to clean, dry leather. Never saturate, may darken leather. Test an inconspicuous spot. If color changes are concerned, repeat every. Oh, wait, <laughs> there was a period in there. If color change, yeah, whatever. Every six to eight weeks. Okay, well, I did 10 years, so at least 10 years. So we got a decade on these, and uh, yeah. So every 10 years, you might want to rub some of this on there, or every six to eight weeks, depending on your use. Let's see here. I did darken it down a little bit. Now is it a new? Is it new and improved? Well, I'll probably. I mean, it just sucked it up. That usually you feel greasy. That leather was so thirsty. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're going to abuse your boots and you decide to take pity on them after a while, eh, looks pretty good. I don't mind the darkening. I'll probably do a second application. You can see how I'm just sucking it in. Try to work it into these little nooks and crannies a little bit better. I'm not gonna bore you with uh, the second boot. Actually, call me a liar. Second boot! That's right, kids, we're doing the second boot. One thing about YouTube I've always found interesting is like, uh, if you're into this, and I said, sorry, we're not gonna do the second boot, you might've got mad for a second. But now that I'm doing the second boot, if you're into it, you're like, yeah, second boot, let's go. I got a little, little shreddy on there. I can't remember what I hit there. Rubbed up against something. Still plenty of leather. Still got plenty there. Good thick leather on these boots. If I remember right, these weren't particularly uh, cheap boots. They were kind of expensive. And I, and I say kind of expensive. I mean, all right, everybody calm down. Because I know you can buy... <laughs> It's like, no, these aren't, these aren't expensive. Like I won the lottery and I don't have anything to do with my money, but buy boots, but like a couple hundred bucks, maybe if I remember right, something like that. Well over a hundred. I know that. Yeah. This one is a little more beat up. I got those, it's that little bit of scuffing, but I don't think that has anything to do with my lack of uh leather preservative. I think that has to do with the, uh, Remember, I think someone would do with like maybe the backhoe. I think I was running the backhoe. I kept my foot kept rubbing against like a sharp piece of metal or something. I can't remember. I don't put that in my I don't put that in my permanent memory bank. What I scratch my boots on. Well, actually, sometimes I do. <laughs> Just depends on if I was paying attention when I when I damaged my boot.
Yeah. This is good stuff right here, kids. We are, we are preserving and conditioning. Let's work those uppers a little bit. I'm gonna use this one as a, a stand. This neoprene thing I put down, I don't even know why I put that down. I just had it laying around. I figured, well, that'd probably better to get the whatever this stuff's made out of on the neoprene than on. I'm literally doing this on my dining room table. That's. Can you get away with that, kids? Can you can you scrub your boots on your dining room table? If the answer is no, you may want you may start asking yourself questions. Why can't I preserve my leather on my dining room table? Why why is that a thing? Who made that rule up? Whose dining room table is it? Who paid for the dining room table? Who's making the rules about the dining room table? Ask yourself these things. You know why I'm doing it on my dining room table? Because I felt like it. That's right. Don't be jealous. Just because you can't polish your boots on your dining room table. Doesn't mean you can't always not do that. You may start, yeah, no comment. <laughs> go ahead and you just do you. Go go, go to your allotted area and polish your boots there, I guess is the, what I'll say to that. Wherever you're allowed to do that. Get permission first. A ask the boss where you're allowed to polish your boots. So I'm not a heathen, I put a mat down, right? See, say, you're not a heathen, see? You got a mat, see? It's okay there. Ooh, yeah, these these little crooks and crannies here. Oh yeah, my boots are thanking me. They're saying thank you. They are just slurping this up, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I don't know what this is here. It looks like it has some paint on it or something. That's right. For some people, these are fashion items. For me, they're not fashion items. These are, the dirt doesn't go in once the dirt's, you know, from there down, the dirt doesn't fall in the, in the old angles. I, I run these when I run my tiller. And when I'm like backfilling a foundation, I got to get out and walk around in the loose dirt. Like, yeah, you got to have something that goes a little taller. I also go wear them all the time. That's cool. If you do that, good for you. I'm happy for you. I'm excited. Anyways, that's probably going to be the end of this. This stuff's supposed to be the bee's knees. I assume it's probably the best. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Comment below if you think this is the best. They make a liquid too. I decided not to go with the liquid because I was reading that this stuff, this particular version is a little bit more long lasting than the liquid because you have to like rub it in. But yeah, old pair of Justins. These are oldies but goodies, and they're good for another 10 years. Stay safe.